What's up, Point Fam? It's Liv, and I am so, so, so excited for this interview because it's literally years in the making. And I know I haven't even been here on the Point for a year yet, but we'll get into it. I am joined by the Pretty Reckless. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hello, hello. Thank you for having us. We are stoked. Okay, so here's here's the history here. So y'all know I came from the land of Maine, okay? Nobody lives there except me, and Taylor did for a while at least. Have a house there, yeah. Still, that's amazing. You know, honorary Mainer. Exactly. Honorary, we accept you as our thank own. Thank you. I, I think I've lived there long enough that it counts now. Absolutely. I had friends that were like, I saw her at the local Walmart in the local record store. Like, you're you're part of it. Like, you you go to Bull Moose. Like, absolutely. So we have this connection of New England, of being in Maine. And I remember the first time you had posted something on social media and I saw my old radio station there and we had always talked like we were going to cross paths and it was going to happen. We did a phone interview once. And now what's so crazy is you're originally from St. Louis. Yes, I am born and raised here. What are the odds? Crazy. Okay? We're just full circle and we're swapping hometowns. This, that's exactly what we're doing. I like, love it. In a couple of years, I'm just going to go hang out with Jim Carrey and it's just going to be like this full, <laughs> this full thing. Full circle. Full circle moment. Great. <laughs> And what was funny is, and we were talking about how much of a small world it is. When I started working here for Hubbard at the point, I worked with a girl. She was in the sales department. She's like, yeah, my stepdad did Taylor's hair before she got like super famous. And I'm like, that's that St. Louis, small well, town, small you know, it's, it's a small world. world. And I've, I was just talking about this. The more you travel the world too, I feel like the smaller it gets like this everybody's is it's, connected. everybody's super connected and every place has a familiarity at this point yeah, and so absolutely. I, the amount of home honorary hometowns i feel like i have at this point i don't <laughs> i don't know I, I think it counts but it absolutely counts it absolutely counts and i love the fact that like i feel like i have this special place in my heart for death by rock and roll the album because it was literally made a mile, two miles from where my apartment was. Yes, it was. <laughs> and it's just so incredible. And I just, I fell in love with that album. And now we've, we've had this album for a couple of years. We, we have, um, other worlds. Yep. Is there new music in the works? Well, that's, are we that's that's marinating the, still? That's the exciting part. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are, we're in the process of kind of finishing up the death by rock and roll cycle. Um, mm -hmm. we're seeing the foods tomorrow at Sonic temple. And then we're doing, going out with them in June for a few shows, which is exciting God. and wrapping it up and new record, new record, new record. We've yes. already kind of started a little bit. I don't want to say too much, but okay. who knows that's how fair. long it's going to take, but it's going to be awesome. And we're just, we're very excited to get back into the recording yeah, process. Yeah, because your routine was really kind of knocked off. I mean, Death by Rock and Roll came out smack dab in the middle of the pandemic. So you yeah. kind of released that knowing, like, we can't do this for a while. It was very bizarre. It was a weird... I mean, it was bizarre for everyone. Like, you know, our yeah. story is not unique at this point. Sure. <laughs> it was uh, It was, It was. was weird to put out a record, not be able to tour it, and then be kind of in that limbo phase of like, well, what do we do? Like, this is still fresh to us, but we can't sure. go anywhere with it. And so we kind of, you know, prolonged it, finally went out when we could. And um, now I feel like that's been played out and it's 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 time. It right, is time right. for and a... as soon as you could hit the ground running, you did. Like I saw you guys on both the Shine Down and the Hailstorm tour. Yeah. And now here you are, like doing like festivals and whatnot. Yeah. And then you're gonna go out with the foos. Like we're so excited about you're, that. Like, I love in them. It. You're in it in and it. you're committed till the very end. And I love that so much. And and the other way for you guys to really stretch out Death by Rock and Roll is the reimaginings. Yeah. Is and that something you guys had done before or was that kind of new for you it was guys? Kind, it was new to to put out. Yeah. Um, you know, the, I always say like when we start writing, everything's written on an acoustic guitar or a piano, like a, an organic instrument. Um, and then the, you know, electric elements get added later. It's all in your head. Sure. Um, so to kind of go back to that organic start of the song and actually put it out that way was kind of an interesting idea for us. And, you know, we've been told for years by our fans, we do radio station, acoustic gigs or whatever it is. They're like, put out a record of that. And it kind of, it happened very organically because during COVID when we couldn't tour, mm -hmm. I ended up making all these acoustic recordings for, you know, online releases and, uh, you know, the, all the, all the online recording touring yeah. that we all did, um, and did some really cool collaborations with some friends of mine and stuff. And I was like, this is, I kind of looked at it at the end of, at the end of lockdown and went, this is an album. Like it didn't mean to be, but this is a collection of material that I'm really proud of. And like, that's 
Let's put it out. Let's share it. And that, and that must be something you're like so proud of because it did happen so organically. It really and- did. And the, I'm I'm very proud of my recording skills on <laughs> other worlds, I must say. Uh, all of that was recorded on a Tascam 8-track, battery-powered 8-track, by oh the way. Oh, my God. Recorded my own vocals. Learned, uh, you know, nice. I'm a tech Props. wizard now. Props. Props. <laughs> Um, and it turned into an album. So it's, it's kind of cool. woman, tech wizard, actress. You know, just what checking all the boxes. There? Trying. <laughs> we'll give you like ninja. a radio I'm show. going for ninja, ninja. next. <laughs> okay. We got to get some Taylor Momsen nunchucks. Yes. Yes. That's, that's the next goal, to, next goal to tackle. So because you are a St. Louis native, I have to ask, is there a St. Louis dish? St. Louis dish. That you're super into? Not really, and that's pretty okay. awful of me. But no, not T Rubs, T Moms, and T Rubs. I, I feel know. like should be I, a thing. And I, I, I don't know. I've if home cooking. My mom's scones, like you know, Ooh. that's my childhood memory. That's fair. Um, but uh, I do love to go see my childhood house when I'm here. Oh, I bet so that's I'm amazing. So I'm hoping I can sneak out of here in time and go see it before yeah. we have to to bail for the night. Um, yeah. You know, hopefully, don't get arrested when I inevitably creep into the backyard and look at the swing set. You I... know, just be like, <laughs> just pull the do you know who I am thing. I've gone every time we've been here, and no one's ever been home. I've always wanted to go and see inside, and I yep. knock on the door every time, and no one's ever there. <laughs> or, so. they're, or they think like you're trying to sell them something. They're like, honey, get down behind the or couch. Or they think we're some. Cr- it's always like a you know us rolling up at like midnight. It probably looks real sketchy. Like <laughs> the rock and roll Jehovah's Witnesses yes. are here. <laughs> down the road that the bus doesn't fit on. Yeah. 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 Have you heard the news about ACDC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the message of our Lord, our Lord and, and Savior. Savior Bon Scott. Amazing. Bon Scott. Amazing. I- I'd go to that church. Well, you guys, thank you so much for sitting down with me again. This has been a long time coming. I'm so happy to meet you guys. I'm so excited. I, it feels crazy to me that we haven't met before because I feel like I know. I know you. We've talked so much online. We've talked know. You know, over the we pandemic live, like, and stuff. We live really close. You probably passed my apartment a million times Literally. and gone to the same store. I know. And it's just... Now it happened. Now here we are. 20 hours away from where I lived. It's amazing. <laughs> but In my hometown. So nice to meet so you. So nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Pretty Reckless at Point Fest 2023.